Hi guys, Nathan here with Team Generous. I'm joined by uh, Tim and Ralph working in the background. It's uh, four in the afternoon on June 3rd in Australia. And uh, we've been up uh, the last couple nights getting ready for this mainnet launch. Uh, the validation processes are happening and we thought it'd be nice to take some time and look at one of the voting tools available. We're gonna run through a quick tutorial on how to use a simplified command line that can be used on Linux, Mac, and Windows that was produced by EOS Canada. So we're gonna to go to uh, github.com slash EOS Canada slash EOC. This is the EOS command line Swiss knife made by EOS Canada. And you can, if you're tech savvy, you can build this yourself following the instructions or you can download a, a release that they've built for you. You can download the one that's appropriate. They have uh, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. We're gonna go ahead and download the Mac OS version. Now that it's downloaded, we're gonna extract the file, and now we can go ahead and follow the instructions. We're gonna open up a terminal. Because we haven't installed this uh, into our bash, we'll have to go to the correct directory and run this direct, uh, directly. So we're just going to uh, cd into the, uh, the correct directory that you extracted the zip. Now from here, we're going to follow the instructions. And so if you already have your uh, EOS key that uh, you registered your snapshot with, you're going to want that handy because we're going to import it into this wallet securely and then use that uh, to access your account and to vote with your account. So we're going to run the command indicated here. Vault import. So now we have to have our private key. I've generated uh, a generic one that uh, can be thrown away, so don't try to, to use this for anything because it's not connected to anything. And just remember, keep your own keys safe uh, in some sort of secure repository, some sort of cold storage. You never want to share these on the internet. You never want to give these to anyone except someone you would literally trust with your life. So we're going to copy that private key in there. And it's a malformed private key. <laughs> We're going to cut that. We're going to start again. I had a space included. Paste. If you have any additional private keys, you can enter them now. We have just the one, so we're going to hit enter and we're done. Now you're going to enter a passphrase to secure your vault. Uh, if you use this command line in the future, this is the passphrase you're going to use to retrieve your private key or to sign your transactions. We're going to enter it a second time. And now it's secure. So we can make that go away. So now the next step is to vote for someone. So you have to know uh, what your account name is. You can go to EOS Authority and find what the account name uh, of your um, snapshot ERC20 tokens will be. You need to use that for this next step. So uh, be sure to check that out. The command to vote is simply vote producers. Now you're gonna put um, the account name that was generated for you. My terminal's acting up. And now you can uh, enter all the producers you wanna vote for. So at this point, you can list up to 30 producers, uh, and we certainly encourage you to do so. For the sake of the tutorial, uh, we're just gonna put a couple. We're gonna put uh, EOS Canada to thank them for building this tool, and we're gonna put ourselves, because we hope you vote for Team Generous. And now it's important to specify a endpoint um, that you're actually gonna talk to the network. Uh, EOS Canada lists uh, theirs here in the tutorial. We're going to fill out ours. Uh, if you put more than 30 um, accounts in the voting, uh, it'll just be an invalid transaction. It'll get rejected and you'll have to try to enter your transaction again. Now at this point, when you write the command, 
EOC not found. All right, so we are having some technical difficulties uh, with the command line. Um, so here we're starting fresh. Uh, we have the code extracted, and now we're going to run. We've set up the wallet, and now we're going to vote for producer. So we're going to type uh, dot slash EOC vote producers. Now this is where you're going to put your account name that you got from the snapshot. And now you're going to list the producers that you can vote for, up to 30 of them, and we encourage you to, to vote for a full 30. And we're just putting uh, EOS Canada and our own name here because we hope you vote for uh, Team Generous. And then you have to specify an endpoint uh, to talk to the network. EOS Canada is providing one and will be providing one as well. So we're just going to put that in here. And then when we hit enter, it's going to ask us for our password to unlock the vault in the step that we just did. Now at this stage, the mainnet hasn't launched, so we will see an error. But if everything went correctly, uh, you'll see a uh, confirmation and it'll say done. So I hope that helps you guys out uh, to make sure that you can use your tokens and vote for the block producers you support. Remember, only use trusted um, third parties that don't share your private keys with the internet, such as Scatter or using the uh, official command line software on your computer, because you don't want to have uh, your tokens um, compromised in the future. So make sure you get out there uh, and vote for block candidates. And remember, vote Team Generous.